Hello, my name is Ember. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I created the bakery from the Boxcar Children series using the new Cottage Living Pack. So in this video, I'm going to show you my process of creating the characters from the Boxcar Children, Henry, Jesse, Violet, Benny, and their dog Watch. And I used a lot of the clothing from the new Cottage Living Pack, Though I was a bit disappointed because, like, there wasn't really any athletic wear, there was very little sleepwear, and there wasn't any, like, swim wear or hot weather clothes. And I really wish that, like, when they make a pack with clothes, that they would, you know, think about what categories they have in Create a Sim. And, like, you know, I need to make an outfit for my Sims for in all of these categories. So it would be helpful if, like, the styles could match because there really isn't much in the, in the game in general that, like, fits this style for a lot of those categories. Especially, like, athletic and swimwear. I feel like there was a really cool opportunity to, you know, make some more, like, old-fashioned type swimwear. Anyways, I mostly used the Cottage Living Pack and I used a few others and here I'm working on creating Jessie who is the oldest sister of the group. Jessie is about 12 years old. Um, unfortunately in The Sims you can only you can choose between like teenager and child. Um, there's no like middle ground so I made Henry and Jessie into teenagers and I made Violet and Benny into children because I thought that sort of fit. Um, you know, Jesse is 12, Violet is 10, and Henry is like 14 or 13, and Benny is supposed to be 5 or 6. I used the new cottage living hair with like a the bandana over her hair um, for most of her outfits. I thought it looked really cute and like it fit her style. I also used um, a braid for one of the outfits because I thought it it fit and it worked well. And I really wish also that they had put more um, overalls in the new Cottage Living pack because, like, it's a farming pack, you know? <laughs> like, I feel like overalls would make a lot of sense, but there really weren't any good ones. I mean, there's, like, there's some, like, short ones that are cute for, like, feminine sims, but there's none for masculine sims, really, and there's not, like, a lot of variety of overalls. So I really wish that they had done more of those. I ended up using a few of the overalls from other packs and stuff. I said this in my last video, but I guess it's probably a good idea to go ahead and reiterate now. If you don't know, The Boxcar Children is a children's book series by Gertrude Chandler Warner, um, and it's been carried on by other authors after her death. And yeah, it's it's a pretty popular children's book series that I loved a lot as a kid. And it's sort of set, the first book at least, is set around like the 20s or 30s, uh, the 1920s or 30s. And so I was trying to like capture that time period with these sims. And I didn't want to, you know, use too like modern looking of clothes, but there wasn't like a ton of options. So I think it would have been really cool if we had more like old fashioned um, old-timey clothes and stuff. And yeah, to start off the book, um, the children are orphaned and they are like having to take care of themselves. They stop by a bakery and eventually end up leaving and heading out to, you know, take care of themselves and make sure they can stay together. And they end up finding a boxcar, like a, a boxcar from a train in the woods and stay there for a bit. Uh, and then later on in the series, they sort of, like, go off and solve mysteries and stuff. But the first book is more about, like, them living on their own and making a home in a boxcar. So I am planning to build that boxcar home in The Sims as well, and I'll have a video up about that. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure to subscribe and watch my channel because I'm really excited to, like, build their boxcar home. So I should probably tell you a little bit more about these characters. Um, I have seen it noted that, like, the books are very heavy on gender roles, which I'm not a huge fan of, so you may notice that in, like, the character descriptions. They're very traditionally gendered, um, <laughs> but I, I don't know if I'll, you know, stick directly to that pattern when I'm playing them. But yeah, so Jessie Alden is the older sister of the Boxcar Children. Um, she's practical and organized. She loves cooking and she doesn't mind cleaning. Um, 
And she especially acts like a mother to Benny, which, I mean, makes sense because, like, Benny is very young and he needs, like, to, he needs a lot more care than the other children do. And, yeah, she, she likes reading and she's good at reading maps. Her favorite color is blue and she loves cooking and baking. So I am excited to have Jessie do a lot of, like, the new cooking and baking, like using the new Simple Living Lot trait. So basically they have to have ingredients for all the meals that they cook. I think that'll be fun. And now moving on to Henry. As I mentioned, he's 14 years old and he's the oldest of the group. He is the one who like goes out and tries to make money to, you know, buy them things that they need to survive, which, you know, to some degree is kind of practical because he's the oldest and, you know, hopefully no one's gonna let like a 10 year old work or whatever but he's 14 so like it's kind of not that weird for him to get a job at the time and so he gets jobs like helping out different farmers with stuff I think he helps out a local doctor he gets a job working for him and he does like different you know handiwork um and I think he helps out on like farms and stuff and yeah just to like earn a little bit of money for to help out his siblings and he you know buys them food and stuff like that his favorite color is green and he's very like athletic and adventurous um he likes you know doing he likes swimming and sailing and running and stuff like that. So I did give Henry the adventurous and the loves outdoors traits. And for Jessie, I gave her the bookworm and neat traits. I also put for Jessie that like she likes cooking and baking. I did try to keep their outfits sort of simple and like have them reuse various pieces and outfits because you know, if you're on the run and just, like, living out of a boxcar, you probably don't have a ton of clothes and, like, different changes of outfits. But at the same time, I wanted to, you know, try out all the new clothes and, like, a lot of them are really cute. So I did, you know, I maybe went a little bit overboard. <laughs> More than is realistic with, you know, how many clothes they had. But, like, for Henry, I tried to reuse the same overalls a bunch. I mean, that's partly because there were not very many overall options, especially for masculine sims in the game. But yeah, I tried to reuse certain things. And like, Henry wears the same boots in most of his outfit, which I thought was fitting. Honestly, it was kind of hard to find shoes that worked for all of the sims. Like, because I wanted them to be practical, you know, I mean, you need to be able to run and walk in the woods with them and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so I tried to give them all like comfortable boots and that sort of thing. And apparently in the new pack, you can like window shop in Hinford on Bagley or in, I think it's the town area is called Finchwick. You can window shop and like basically buy clothes for your Sims. So I was thinking also that maybe, you know, once they get settled in the town and have a bit more money, maybe they'll buy some more clothes from those stores in town. Oh yes, and speaking of clothes, I realized that both Jesse and Henry had like the same sweater for cold weather wear. <laughs> and since, you know, they'll be wearing them at the same time, I thought that looked a little bit weird. I mean, it could make sense if they shared some clothes, you know, but they're probably not going to have two of the same outfit, probably. I don't know. But anyways, I went through and I changed Jessie's sweater and like her winter wear outfit a little bit so that they're not, you know, exactly matching each other. <laughs> And now moving on to Violet. I always really liked Violet as a kid. I don't know. I she, I think probably partially because she was closest to my age when I was really into the book series. <laughs> and she's just sort of more like quiet and introverted, but very creative. So Violet is like 10 years old. I gave her some of her outfits do have like purple and violet because, you know, I mean, her name is Violet. So I thought it makes sense. But the, I did also give her a few other colors too. Um, you'll probably notice I gave her like a yellow button up and some khaki pants. And while that may seem like kind of a weird outfit choice, the reason I chose that is it's based on the book cover of the Boxcar Children. I'm not really sure when that book co cover was created because like the style of the clothes that the children are wearing on it is very strange to me. Uh, it does not seem very like 1920s or 30s and obviously like I'm pretty sure illustrated book covers are a newer thing. But the outfits the kids are wearing on it are kind of funny. Um, so basically, 
Well, I'll see if I can actually insert like a picture of it here to sort of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. But basically, uh, Violet on the cover is wearing like a yellow button up shirt tucked into some khaki pants. Jessie is wearing a pink jumpsuit. So I mean, I gave Jessie one of her outfits is a pink jumpsuit. I, yeah, I don't know what style or like time period that is like, but all of the kids are wearing like very fancy clothes and they're all like tucked, their shirts are all tucked in and Jessie's wearing a pink jumpsuit and Henry is wearing like a plaid blue button up shirt. I couldn't really find one like it in the game. Um, so I didn't, I wasn't able to give him really that exact look. And then Benny has like a white or tan cream uh, button up shirt tucked in to some pants that are like, they're black with like a little pattern on the side and they look kind of like, like sweatpants or like joggers that have like a cool little design. So I did find some uh, clothes in the game that sort of match that. So I gave Benny that sort of look as well. And yeah, it doesn't really fit the style. It's kind of strange to me, those clothing choices for the cover of the book. But, you know, that's the cover I looked at when I read it, and I thought it would be fun to just copy it for at least some of their outfits. So, returning to Violet, she's very shy and, like I said, introverted. Uh, she's very talented and creative, which is why I gave her the creative trait. I was thinking in this pack I'll have her um, do some embroidery, because I think that would be really cool. In the books, she's also great at playing the violin and sewing, so lots of talent. <laughs> She loves animals and she cares about people a lot and she's also a great photographer so maybe I'll have her do some photography. And since her favorite color is purple and you know, I mean her name is Violet, she often wears purple clothes. So I'm thinking that for my next video what I want to do is basically play out the first chapter of the Boxcar Children where they go visit a bakery and end up running away. So make sure to keep an eye out for that if you're interested in it and basically watching me play out the Boxcar Children books in The Sims. And let me know if there's any specific parts of the book or the series that you really want to see like acted out or parts that you really enjoyed if you read these books as a kid like I did. So last but not least we have Benny, the youngest of the Boxcar Children. Um, one of his key, like, character traits in the book is that he's always hungry, which, you know, I mean, he's a growing kid. He needs food. So I gave him the glutton trait, <laughs> and also I gave him the social butterfly aspiration, because I feel like he's just very social, and, like, he just wants to talk to people, and sometimes the other kids are worried about, you know, what he's going to say and if he's going to get them in trouble, because <laughs> he doesn't always know, you know, what he shouldn't say. But yeah, he, he loves to eat. He loves sweet food and stuff. So I thought the glutton trait made sense for that. I also, I, I decided to give Violet and Benny sort of matching pajamas because I thought they looked cute. Um, <laughs> and, you know, it'd be cute if they're a little bit matching. And yet, Benny doesn't honestly have like that much of a personality besides, you know, being a young kid that they have to take care of <laughs> and always being hungry. Um, he does grow very attached to this cracked pink teacup that he finds uh, near the boxcar. So I don't know, maybe I'll see if I can find something like that in the game. That would be kind of cute. But yeah, I mean, he's like six years old. You know, he mostly, he just needs to be taken care of. Um, he needs to have like people that are looking out for him. And his siblings try their best to do that because they do care about him a lot. And his favorite color is red. So I did give him a lot of red in his various outfits as well. Finally, we have the last member of the family, Watch, their dog, Watchdog. Um, they basically discover Watch when they first find the boxcar, and he's sort of seen as like Jesse's dog. So he won't, I, he, the kids won't have him when I'm starting out with my Let's Play, but they, you know, I'll figure out a way for them to sort of run into him and adopt him. And yeah, here's the finished product. You can see me um, making their portraits on the gallery. If you want to download The Sims, my gallery ID is Raining Embers, and I'll make sure to put that in the description as well. And thank you so much for watching.